Hey everybody, it's Danny Bradley here with Moscow Minutes. I'm going to be summarizing the Monday, August 16th Moscow City Council meeting. There are three main items to discuss. One was the proposed fiscal year 2022 fee resolution. Number two, open container ordinance revisions for downtown events. And three, the uh, national endowment for the arts grant application. So let's jump right into them. So the first item on the agenda has everything to do with taxes for 2022. So this fiscal year fee resolution is directly tied to the budget for 2022 that the city came up with. So each item that is in this fee resolution includes a tax fee that is being increased by more than 5% since last year. So there's all kinds of different categories for different tax fees and anything that is being increased by more than 5% is included in this fee resolu resolution. And there's gonna be a link to that in the comments so you can check out more details there. And so there's all kinds of categories, all kinds of different taxes that we're gonna be uh, dealing with this year. Some of the main points are gonna be that uh, EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, mandate for stormwater utility services like we talked about uh, last video. Also, the tax deficit that we're going to have to make up for based on the tax break that we took last year during uh, the pandemic uh, situation. We're going to have to make all that up, and that's uh, upwards of $1 million. And then also property taxes are going up, as we know, and so that's going to be something we have to deal with as well. So the city is faced with um, the, the need to raise different costs, and then with the raised costs, that means raised taxes. That's just kind of how it works. You know, even the city government is not immune to uh, inflation. And that was something that was being brought up during discussion. Um, you know, different people got up during the public comment section and talked about, you know, how these, how hefty these taxes are gonna be this year. And it's no joke, they will be pretty hefty. Um, so a couple people, a couple names are uh, Dan Schoenberg. He's the owner of Palouse Properties. He talked about um, different, uh, different taxes that are directly relevant to property owners because, you know, he manages uh, properties that are owned by different people. So he, you know, talked about that. Uh, a man named Ken Grubbs got up. He uh, was unfortunately laid off from his job during COVID. And um, he's, you know, just on, on unemployment right now, unfortunately. And uh, he had to take an early retirement. And he's just talking about how all these different fees are just way more expensive than they used to. You know, they only used to be raised by like 1% each year or something like that. And now it's more than 5% for a lot of these different tax categories. And so he was just expressing some dismay um, dismay there and the city kind of did their best to just explain the fact that you know they're having to deal with inflation as well there's all kinds of different costs uh, that come with these services that are necessary so uh, one of the main uh, a case in point of that those services that are necessary that's going to be taxed higher uh, is water sewer garbage so this is really relevant if you're a property owner the initial um, tax that was going to be levied was going to be a hundred dollars per property owner and that was in the original uh, fee resolution but tonight they actually changed that to be 125 uh, before they passed the fee resolution so they changed that and then passed the fee resolution the reason for that being Dan Schoenberg you know he's familiar with how much water sewer and garbage cost and so he said you know hundred dollars is just not enough to cover it you know my, my property owners have to pay upwards of 125 um, uh, per property so uh, you know they actually raise it to be 125 um, instead of 100 and so that's kind of a case in point for those of you who are interested in just being involved in city government you know you can actually get in there and you can change things um, and so Dan Schoenberg actually was able to get that raised to 125 um, so that's kind of a case in point there but uh, the general you know thing to keep in mind to remember here is the fee resolution was passed so now you know they decided what the taxes are going to be this year uh, based on just conditions here in the area and that's what we're going to have to deal with. So you can check that out in the comments. So the second agenda item is really fun. It has to do with beer. So of course it's fun. The main thing that happened tonight was the creation of this really cool thing called the Entertainment District. Now, what is that? Well, it's actually uh, a district that spans from D Street all the way down to 8th and Lewis downtown and even accommodating uh, 6th Street over where One World Cafe and uh, Nectar are. And what this district does is for specified events only, um, gives you the ability as a citizen to walk around downtown with a glass of beer in your hand 
and just stroll the sidewalks while drinking it. So that's pretty cool. So if you're at an event, maybe a music event, uh, maybe something like a, a fair or something like that, you know, uh, if you apply for the city and get that event approved, whoever's attending the event can walk around within those bounds, D Street to Lewis, Lewis and 8th, uh, with a beer in their hand and enjoy it with their family and friends. It's a really cool idea. Uh, the, the owner of Mylena got up and talked about some events, that, well, not in specifics, but he kind of uh, gave a little teaser of some events that he might be doing. So keep your eye out for some of these cool events that will make use of this new uh, entertainment district. The last item on the agenda had to do with a grant application. So Megan Sherry with the City of Moscow Arts Department applied for a grant from the National Endowment for the Arts, which is a federal government organization that seeks to uh, give aid to local arts programs and just help them run smoothly. This also uh, was part of something called the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021, uh, which was designed to kind of fuel the nation's recovery from the economic impact of COVID-19. Uh, and so that American Rescue Plan Act uh, actually is allocating some funds to the National Endowment for the Arts uh, to help people who are applying for specific grants, uh, of which Megan Sherry is one. So she's gonna do that, and she has to go through the city of Moscow because in order to apply for a, a federal level grant, you must go through a local governing body, and the Moscow City Council uh, was that body that Megan Sherry had to uh, had to go through. So the step one for Megan is um, uh, you know, getting the city of Moscow to approve this. And so they um, approved this submission, uh, or rather they actually submitted on behalf of Megan um, a grant application um, from the National Endowment of the Arts for $100,000. And this is just, the, the idea behind this is to get the uh, arts program here in Moscow to run more efficiently as they bring in uh, more pieces from uh, locally and from around the country. So thanks for tuning in. You've been listening to the Moscow City Council meeting from Monday, August 16th. Stay tuned in two weeks for the next update. Thanks.